Today we're doing a Poppy Playtime Build Challenge, but I'm gonna be secretly using hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash scare, I can bring all of his worst fears to life. But now let's go check out my friend GE. And GE, what in the world are you doing? Bubbles, you gotta help me. Boxy Boo just trapped me inside of this prison. Oh no, GE, don't worry. I'll save you. Let's go. Ah! But Bubbles, what in the world are we doing today? We're gonna be doing a Poppy Playtime Build Challenge. Poppy Playtime? That's super cool. But wait a second. What's that dispenser over there? This dispenser is filled with a whole bunch of Poppy Playtime builds, and we got a flipped lever to see which one we're building first. All right, I'm gonna press it. Bubbles, tell me what we get. Let me pick it up real quick it looks like we got catnap catnap oh my yeah he's super scary yeah he is and i think my build's gonna be better than yours uh no it's not bubbles you're such a noob what the g no i'm not go on your side and we gotta make this build quick all right bubbles and remember we only have 10 minutes wait what 10 minutes go 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 ah! G E has no idea that we're gonna be using slash slash scare to make our builds extra scary but right now we don't even have a build to use the command on so we gotta get building for the command to work we don't have to make catnap absolutely perfect but we we gotta get it close enough. Right now, I'm gonna be using this blue terracotta to build out Catnap's feet. And I know Catnap isn't blue, but this looks purple enough to me. So let's just keep on building out the base just like this. I gotta make sure to make it wide enough so that it actually looks pretty good. And there we go. I'm super excited to see how this Catnap's gonna turn out. And once I run the slash slash scare command on it, it's gonna be even scarier. Let's quickly make the feet two layers up just like this. And because Catnap is a cat, we're just gonna be using these quartz stairs as the claws. Wow, this is actually turning out really good. I'm putting the feet together like this because I I want catnap to be standing up straight with the feet done we can move on to building the legs now first we're gonna build out the base for it just like this there we go i feel like even though we just started our catnap is already probably looking better than ge's and i bet it's a whole lot scarier too i'm really hoping that this is tall enough but if it isn't we can always add on more layers and wow look at that the feet and the legs are completed we still have a decent amount of time left but i don't want to run out so let's hurry up and build his body for catnap's body it's a little bit round so we're just gonna build out a little area just like this and we'll build it all the way up and curve it inwards let's fix up the leg over here as well to make sure it's even there we go and all right the shape of catnap's body is already coming into place for the middle of catnap's body it's actually a different shade of purple so we're just going to be using this light purple concrete powder and wait a second this is literally perfect we'll go ahead and build it up to be this tall and then fill in the rest with the purple wool there we go and obviously because we don't want it to just be one block wide we're gonna have to bring it all the way back over here to the legs and while i'm building the rest of catnap's body i'm actually super curious which which Poppy Playtime character is your favorite? My personal favorite is actually Catnap. So let me know which one's your favorite by putting it in the comments down below. Just keep building this all the way up. And with that completed, we definitely can't forget about Catnap's arms. I think he'd look pretty funny without them, but we don't want him to look funny. We want him to look scary. So we'll go ahead and build out his arm just like this and then make it a little bit thicker. And look at that. The shape of his arm is already coming into place. We'll close up the back of it to complete this part of the arm. Just a little bit more to go to fill up. And finally, we can start working on his hand. Or I guess you could call it a paw because again catnap is a cat let's go ahead and build out the base for the hand just like this and once again close out the back of it and now it's for the best part the claws we'll use some cord stairs just like we did for the feet just like this and wait a second i'm actually really liking how this is turning out catnap's claws are looking really sharp and scary which makes me wonder how scary it would look after i run the slash slash scare command i really want to get to that so let's hurry up and build this other arm we're gonna have to try and make it look as identical as possible to the other side but this shouldn't be too difficult because i'm a minecraft building professional in my opinion opinion with this catnap build i feel like i would already have won but you know me i don't just want to win i also want to scare ge so bad that he poops his pants and i don't know i feel like this catnap build will be able to do that let's finish up the body here by building out catnap's second hand and whoa guys look at that catnap's body is completed now all i have left is his crescent moon necklace and his head but before building those i want to go troll ge real quick and i have just the perfect prank i'm gonna fly up to this chest right over here and grab this spawn egg and invisibility potion and then we could break out a few blocks into the wall just like this and look Look at that we can see ge building right over there do, 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 do. my catnap build is turning out super good i'm totally gonna beat bubbles what the did he say that he was gonna beat me well just for that i'm gonna be scaring him so let me splash his invisibility potion on ourselves and then we can fly right over to him all right good ge still hasn't noticed a thing and he's busy building before ge turns around i'm just gonna spawn on this massive nightmare freddy and wait a second what the heck is that noise and <laughs> 
<laughs> what the heck? Uh, there's no way. G just got so spooked. Oh, Freddy, please don't eat me. I'm really scared. I think Freddy's not going after GE right now because it's the daytime. So let's just hurry up and turn it to night. And look at that. Freddy's super angry at GE now. And oh my god. Get him, Freddy. Get him. Please don't eat me, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way. G just got destroyed. And quick, guys. While GE is busy respawning, we're just going to grab a bazooka from our inventory. And we're just going to blow up his build. Quick, run away, run away, run away. And wait a second. What just happened to my build? Guys, it looked like he noticed. Oh, no. This is super bad. And we only have two minutes left to finish this. So I got to hurry up. Wait a second. Did he say two minutes? I got to get back to my build. Go, go. All right. Since we already have the body and legs completed, it's time to build his head. For Catnap's head, we got to make it extra wide because he has a super duper big smile. And it's a pretty creepy smile too. So it's going to scare GE for sure. I think that this right here is tall enough. And then we'll copy the same thing to the other side. There we go. And we have the shape of his head completed. Then for the outline of his super scary mouth, we're just going to be using some more of this terracotta. This really gives it that dark vibe that's going to be making GE scream. And now that the outline of the mouth is done, we could fill it in with this black wool. Just with the mouth completed, my catnap build is already looking extra scary. We'll give him a nose right here as well, and then start working on the eyes. We'll make them kind of in an oval shape just like this, and then completely fill it in with black as well. I think the eyes are super important to making a scary build, so we're just going to give him some creepy pupils. There we go. And whoa, that is looking extra creepy. I bet it's going to look even scarier with the slash slash scare command. This is turning out really good, but catnap wouldn't be a cat without some ears, so let's go ahead and build some up just like this. Hmm, yeah, I think that looks really good. We'll do the same thing on the other side, and then fill it all in with some more terracotta. With the head and the ears completed, it looks like we only have one minute left, so we gotta build his necklace first. Let's go ahead and make it into the shape of a crescent moon just like this, and then we'll even add a zipper going through it. There we go, and whoa, that looks super duper good. Let's quickly give him a super long tail all the way up over here, and just like that, it looks like our catnap build is completed. Make sure you guys stick around to see me scare GE with the command. Hey GE! Hey Bubbles! Now that we're done with both of our catnaps, who are we checking out first? Well, Bubbles, isn't that the easiest question of all time? Obviously, my build is way better than yours, so we should check out mine. Huh? That is definitely not true, but I guess we could save the best for last. All right, Bubbles, whatever you say, but be ready to be amazed. Check out my catnap build. And what, uh, GE, what in the world is this? What do you mean, Bubbles? Doesn't he look super good? Uh, GE, his face is a little bit funny. This is definitely not scary at all. Hey, how is it funny? I don't know, GE, it's something about it. Maybe it's the eyes? I don't know. Oh, I know, GE. He's not scary because he literally has no eyebrows. What? Really, dude? Are you serious right now? Do you not like people who don't have eyebrows? Wait, now that I think about it, you don't have eyebrows either. Wait, you don't have eyebrows either. What the? Whatever. Well, anyways, G, why is there a D on his chest? Isn't it supposed to be a C? Uh, are you sure about that, Bubbles? I'm pretty sure it was a D. G, C literally stands for catnap, so I don't know what you're talking about. But, hmm, looking at your build, why are his claws like this? Oh my god. Bubbles, why are you so critical? Can you just say something nice about my build? I mean, I'm just bringing it up because it's not scary at all. It's literally sparkly. Yeah, I guess it isn't that scary, but I didn't even mean for it to be scary anyways. You know, it is called poppy play time. Well, I guess if you intended it to not be scary, then you did a pretty good job at that. But hmm, GE, I think the highest score I could give you here is a 5 out of 10. R really, dude? A 5 out of 10? Yep, I think it's only fair because my build is way better than yours. That's so not true, Bubbles. My build's totally gonna beat you. Well, why don't you just come over here and take a look at my build? All right, I will, and I bet it's not even gonna be that. I got gulp. Yeah, you don't have much to say now, GE, do you? How in the world did you build your catnap this fast? We didn't have that much time. What are you talking about? We literally had the same amount of time. Yeah, well, maybe I'm just a slow builder, Bubbles, but... Oh my god, this build is amazing. But to be honest, Bubbles, this build isn't even that scary at all. Wait, what? It's not scary? All right, GE just called my build not scary, so it's time to run my secret command. Let me go in the chat and type slash slash scare. And oh my god, look at that catnap. Ah! Um, but Bubbles, what just happened to your build? Mwahaha, <laughs> Catnap just became super huge. Yeah, he's super huge and he's super scary. He looks like he's gonna eat me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're super scared now, GE, aren't you? Bubbles, this build is unbelievably scary and I don't even know how you did that, but I'm giving you a zero out of 10. Wait, what? A zero out of 10? Are you serious right now? This build is amazing. Yes, I'm serious right now. This build is pretty good, but it's way too scary. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> What the heck? Oh my gosh, GE. Fine, since you got a higher score than me, I guess you win the first round. Yeah, but we still have two more rounds left, so flick the lever and let's see what we get. Okay, let me just flick the lever real quick. 
And it looks like we got the Poppy Playtime Toy Factory. The Toy Factory? That's gonna be a piece of cake. A piece of cake? Well, yours better be scarier this time. Uh, scarier? I don't know about that, Bubbles, but we do have seven minutes to build this, so let's go. Seven minutes, go, go, go. All right, we got a few different concrete blocks in our inventory so we can start building the structure of our Toy Factory. For this Toy Factory, I'm gonna be making the three machines that build the toys inside of Poppy Playtime. It's also the same room that Huggy Wuggy popped out of, so it's extra spooky. We'll just go ahead and make it around this big and it should be good enough. Inside the toy factory, I'm gonna be putting down some super scary things to get activated by my slash slash scare command. And I'm super excited to show you guys because I think it's gonna scare GE like crazy. But for now, let's just build out the rest of this factory. Let's go ahead and add a blue roof just like the factory has. The last part of the roof right there and look at that, the shape of our factory is already completed. Then we'll just go ahead and add in a few more details like a smoke pipe with a whole bunch of smoke coming out of it. And then we're obviously gonna need an entrance as well. Add in some doors with some glass on top and look at that, our Playtime Co. factory is looking super good. With the outside completed, it's time to go inside and start building the floors. There we go, and wow, this is looking perfect. Now it's time for the fun part. We're going to be making the make-a-friend machines that produce all the toys. We'll make the first one really big, something like this, and then give him some super creepy eyes as well, just like in the game. All right, that's a little bit creepy. The eyes look like they're always following me, but that'll be super good when GE comes in here because he'll know that we're always watching. And then we can just go ahead and build two more machines, one on each side. There we go, and now we can start placing down the conveyor belt. I'm just going to make it go along the path pathway that I created. Let's put a few toys right over here just like this. And oh my goodness guys, our toy factory is actually working. This looks super duper cool and I'm not going to put any torches in here so that when GE walks in, it's going to be even creepier. All of this is super cool, but I really want to scare GE. So I think we're going to make the room to spawn in Huggy Wuggy. This is where my slash slash scare command is going to come into play because it's the only way that I can bring Huggy Wuggy to life. Let's build it tall enough to fit Huggy Wuggy. There we go. This is perfect. Then we'll go ahead and hide it behind some paintings to make sure that it's super hidden. I think all of these creepy paintings will do the job. Let's put some decorations all inside the room to make it extra creepy. And now we could go ahead and place down our Huggy Wuggy. I know it really doesn't look scary right now, but if I go in chat and type slash slash scare, our Huggy Wuggy comes to life. Oh my goodness, the Huggy Wuggy is absolutely terrifying. I can't wait to see GE's reaction when he gets chased by Huggy Wuggy. But for now, let's just keep him like this so that GE doesn't notice anything suspicious. And hmm, I don't want GE to be able to escape super easily, so I'm actually going to change all of these doors into iron doors. This this way, once GE goes inside, there's gonna be no way back out. Also, we all know how powerful Huggy Wuggy is, so there's no way he's gonna be able to defeat him. The only actual way that GE can escape is through these vents right over here. Just like in the game, GE's gonna have to run through it to be able to escape Huggy Wuggy. There we go, and just like that, the vents are completed. Make sure you guys stick around to see GE get absolutely chased down by Huggy Wuggy. And just to help GE out, we're gonna give him a little flashlight that he can use. And just like that, our Poppy Playtime factory is completed, which is perfect timing because the timer just went off. So let's go meet up with GE and see if we to scare him with our build. Hey, GE. Hey, Bubbles. All right, GE, are you ready to check out each other's toy factories? Yeah, Bubbles, I'm super ready, and you should definitely check out mine first. Sounds good. Let me just go over to your side, and, uh, GE, what in the world is this? Check it out, Bubbles. This is my super fun and amazing toy factory. Um, GE, it might sound like toy factory, but you spelled it completely wrong. What are you talking about, Bubbles? That's definitely the right way to spell toy factory. Yeah, maybe you need to go back to school and learn how to spell again. But, GE, why? Why in the world does Catnap look so goofy over here? Are you serious right now? Bubbles Catnap does not look goofy. He looks amazing. This makes him not even scary at all, but bring me inside, GE. Let's check out your build. All right, I'll lead the way, Bubbles. Let me just open up these beautiful green doors. And whoa, okay, this looks actually not bad, but is this even a toy factory? What is all this stuff? Oh, go. We were supposed to actually add toys. Uh, yeah, that's the whole point of a toy factory, GE. Uh, forget you saw any of this. I'm just gonna add a bunch of toy cupcakes. Uh, don't look, don't look. These were totally here. What the heck, GE? Time's up. You're not allowed to do this. Really, Bubbles? Well, whatever. Let me just show you around. Yeah, let's see what you built, GE. All right, so over here, we have this cookie conveyor belt. A cookie conveyor belt? I still think it should have been toys, but I guess this is pretty cool. Yep, and there's a bunch of cake over here, too. Nom, 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 nom. I guess the cake and the cookies are a good idea to feed the factory workers. And the cake is so good. Exactly, Bubbles, but that's not even it. Follow me. Okay. Over here, we have this fully working pool with a diving board. Wait, what, G? Why do you need a pool inside of a toy factory? Uh, I don't know, Bubbles. I just felt like it. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's good entertainment for the workers, but let's go jump down this. All right, Bubbles, but I bet you can't do a backflip into this pool. Uh, I am a little bit scared of heights, but I'm just gonna go for it. Count me down. You got this, Bubbles. 
Bubbles, three, two, one, go! Let's go! And are you serious right now, Bubbles? That is not a backflip. Um, I might have accidentally flown. Uh, let me try that again. All right, you got it. Three, two, one, go! Let's go! And look at that, GE. Are I a diving professional? Yeah, I guess you are pretty good, but let me show you how it's really done. Watch me. I bet you won't be able to do it better than me. Yeah, that's so cat, Bubbles. Well, let me just warm up real quick. Huh, 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 huh. All right, that's a little bit extra. Just jump. All right, get ready for it. Wee! Woo, that was pretty good. Thank you, Bubbles. I've been practicing for a really long time, but there's still one more thing I want to show you. Yeah, I've been looking at this since the beginning. What even is all this? Just random blocks? Of course not, Bubbles. It's a parkour, and at the very top, there's rotten flesh. Um, gee, can't I just literally fly up there? No, 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 no. That, that, that's cheating, Bubbles. You can't do that. Okay, fine, GE. I'll go through your parkour. But GE, I think you made this parkour a little bit too easy because i'm literally breezing through it uh, are you serious right now bubbles that was not supposed to happen but i guess you do have one more jump left and i'm gonna make it just like this and now i could grab this rotten flesh yummy 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 wait a second i didn't think you'd actually eat it ah! all right well now that you've shown me everything in your build i think i'm gonna give this a solid four out of ten R really dude a four out of ten but it was so good yeah i mean i guess the stuff inside was pretty entertaining but ge it wasn't even scary at all what do you mean not scary at all it's not even supposed to be scary it's a toy factory yeah and the real poppy playtime toy factory is super scary just like mine all right we'll see about that bubbles let me check out your build you're not ready ge look at this and oh my god see now this is a real toy factory yeah it looks super duper good but wait a second it's not even that scary bubbles yeah you're saying that right now but just wait until you're screaming your head off screaming my head off gulp i don't really want to do that but good thing i don't get scared because i'm a manly man and i don't get scared yeah whatever you say ge let's just go inside and check out everything that i've built all right let's see it and just like that walking through the doors you're never gonna be able to escape again wait what do you mean i can't get out there's doors right here <laughs> Okay, I guess I can't get out. Yeah, silly, because they're iron doors. But GE, what do you think of all these toy machines that I created? Well, these toys look super cool. We got the Freddy Fazbear, and then we got this little clown thingy. I don't even know what that is. Okay, but GE, here comes my favorite one. It's a super scary rabbit. Gulp, that is pretty scary. And wait a second, is that Grimace? No, silly, that's definitely something else. Really, Bubble? So there's no Grimace shakes inside of here? No, but you can grab this flashlight to help you look around a little bit better. Okay. Okay, but why would I even need a flashlight? Um, I don't know, GE. You'll just have to wait and see. Okay, I don't really know what that means, but there is an extra conveyor belt on here. Can I go on top of it? Uh, GE, that's dangerous. Don't do that. Don't do that. Ah! Oh my god, GE. You almost just got stuck on the conveyor belt. Are you serious, Rainio Bubbles? Why would you not tell me that's dangerous? I mean, it's literally a toy factory. You would have been made into a toy. Yeah, I guess that would be pretty scary, but gulp. Is that Among Us over there? Yep, it is. Doesn't he looks so sussy. Yeah, he does look super sussy. I'm gonna head smack him. hi -ya! Haha, <laughs> GE, you just went to the Huggy Wuggy room. Oh my, yeah. Is this a bunch of blood? Gulp and torches. Gulp and Huggy Wuggy. Oh my, GE, you should have seen the reaction on your face. You just got jump scared. Oh my, nah, Bubbles, that was not funny, but at least he isn't actually real. I wasn't even that scared, Bubbles. This is literally just some cheap joke. Hmm, okay, GE just called this not scary, so I think it's time to run in my slash r scare command. And wait, what are you saying? Oh, um, it's nothing. Let me just go and try and type slash r scare. And oh my, yeah, Huggy Wuggy. He just spawned in. Oh my, no! What the heck is this? Run, GE, run! Get away from me, Huggy Wuggy. Oh my, yes. Get him, Huggy Wuggy, get him. Here, take this toy. hi -ya, ya ya Oh my, GE is getting so spooked right now. And oh no, I think I really am trapped in here. Surely there's a way out of here, right? Uh, if you can find it, GE. Oh no, nah, this is not funny, Bubbles. Maybe I can go through these conveyor belts. Ha! Ha! Hua! Whoa, oh no, that's not gonna work. Oh my god, GE, it looks like you're not gonna survive. And wait a second, what the heck is this? Let me get my flashlight. And wait, looks like you found a way, but can you make it through before he gets you? And there we go, na 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 na, you can't get me. No way, GE, you actually escaped Huggy Wuggy. Yeah, I guess I did, but that was unbelievably scary, Bubbles. Why in the world would you build that? Uh, GE, because I told you, the Toy Factory is supposed to be scary. But based off of everything you saw, what rating are you gonna give my build? Well, even though I 
almost died. This toy factory is really cool, so I guess I'll give you a 6 out of 10. Wait, that means I win the round. Yeah, but we still have one more round in this build competition, so let's go to the wall and see what we get. Alright, G, the score is 1 to 1, so whoever wins this round wins it all. Yeah, this round's for all of the marbles, so let's flick this lever and see what we get. Alright, let's see, and it looks like we got Poppy Playtime Maze. The Poppy Playtime Maze? Well, good thing I'm a way better maze builder than you, Bubbles. Alright, G, that's literally cap. I'm literally the best maze builder in the entire world. And we only have 10 minutes to make this build, so get on your side and get started. Let's go! I have a super cool idea for Slash Our Scared this round, but first we're gonna build the maze. And to start the maze off, we're gonna be starting off with some red concrete to match Boxy Boo's color. Let's go ahead and make a big square for the maze to fit inside of. There we go, and alright, this is looking pretty good. Let's make a little staircase for GE to get inside, and now we can start building the inside of the maze. We gotta make sure this maze is full of a whole bunch of dead ends so that GE gets super duper scared. So let's make one right over here, and we'll make this area over here a dead end as well. Then once GE makes it to the side of the maze, he's gonna have to decide if he wants to go on the right side or the left side. And since right is right, we're gonna be making the left side the wrong answer. Let's break out a few blocks on the left side over here just like this, and then fill it with a whole bunch of dangerous lava, and cover the top with some super secret ghost blocks. Now when GE walks through to this side, he's just gonna fall straight into the lava. And now that we got our little trap set up, we can spawn in some boxy booze as the finishing touch. So let's just put one right over here, and I think two more would be good. There we go, and whoa, this maze is looking extra scary now. With the red boxy boo section completed, we can now move on to building the next section. And for this section, I'm gonna be making it out of some blue blocks. And I think you guys can already guess which character it's gonna be representing. If you guess Huggy Wuggy, then you are correct. So let's hurry up and make a square just like the first section. And oh yeah, it's time to build the maze now. I'm gonna be making this maze a little bit more complex than the last one, so it makes it extra scary. And I can't wait to run the slash slash scare command on GE to see his reaction. But let's hurry up and build some walls with some dead ends just like this. And the good thing about Huggy Wuggies is that they're only one block wide so we can make super thin turns like this. It'll definitely be getting to GE's claustrophobia. And I think at the end of this turn, I'm gonna be putting another trap. If GE decides to go through the super thin turn, then he's gonna find a fake treasure at the end. Instead of getting his treasure, it's actually gonna be a trap chest with a command block right underneath. And let's just say that this command block is gonna instantly kill him. Let's just put in the command slash kill GE and then cover it up to make sure that he doesn't see it. It's gonna be hilarious when he falls for that trap. But now we can go ahead and finish up building the rest of this maze. There we go, and now we can go ahead and spawn in all the Huggy Wuggies. Let's go ahead and put in a few just like this. And okay, this maze is looking extra scary now. I have no idea how GE is gonna get through this without being super duper scared. But just like that, and the Huggy Wuggy section of the maze is completed. I still have one super special section of the maze left, but before I build it, I wanna go troll GE real quick. To prank GE this time, I have a super cool idea. But for the competition, I installed a morph mod that lets me transform into literally anything. So let me just go inside it, and we're gonna be transforming into Boxy Boo. And oh my god, we literally look just like him. And now we can break a few blocks into the wall to see where GE is building. And look at that, I can see GE building right inside his maze. Do, 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 do. This build is turning out amazing. <laughs> he thinks everything's going amazing, but he's about to get super spooked. So let's just fly right over to him and give him a little scare. I can't wait to see what Bubbles thinks of that. Is that Boxy Boo? <laughs> please don't eat me, Boxy Boo, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to destroy your build, GE. No, please don't destroy my build. Please don't. And oh no. Nope, I'm in a dead end. And now that GE is stuck in a dead end, let's just throw a whole bunch of harming potions on him. <laughs> <laughs> and before GE responds and comes back to his build, I'm just going to place out a whole bunch of TNT throughout his maze. And oh my goodness, this is going to cause a huge explosion. And Boxy Boo, what are you doing? Ha ha ha, I just destroyed your build. Goodbye, GE. Wait a second, Boxy Boo, get back here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, that was extremely close, but good thing GE didn't realize that it was me. I can't believe that stupid Boxy Boo destroyed my entire build, and we only have four minutes left to build this, so I have to hurry up. Wait a second, did he say four minutes? I gotta get back to my build then. For the last and final section of my maze, I'm gonna be building it with the color pink. And GE might be thinking that pink isn't even a scary color, but he's gonna be super duper terrified once he realizes that it stands for Mommy Long Legs. Let's quickly finish all the walls of the maze so that we can spawn in all of the Mommy Long Legs. I'm honestly not even sure that GE is gonna make it this far into the maze. But if he does, all of these mommy long legs are gonna be ready to completely destroy him. Let's make sure that this maze is super confusing just like all the other ones. And I have just a perfect trap to get GE inside of this maze. If we think about it logically and he makes it this far, he's gonna be super thirsty from all of that running. So we're just gonna make a little water source right here that he can drink out of. He's gonna think that this water is super thirst quenching and refreshing, but in reality, it's gonna be poisonous water. Not only will it scare him, but it'll do a whole lot of damage to him as well. But with the trap completed, we could build out the rest of these walls. And I think 
think we'll be making the exit right over here. If he's able to make it through the exit, there's gonna be a prize waiting for him. I don't want to be too mean and make him go through all of those scary mazes for absolutely nothing. So in this room, we're just gonna give him a chest filled with a lot of his favorite things. Let's place the chest down and then fill it with a whole bunch of stacks of emeralds. There we go. And wait a second, I almost completely forgot to spawn in the mommy long legs. Let's go ahead and spawn a few of these in just like this. And whoa, these mommy long legs are actually really creepy looking. I think G will be really scared once he comes face to face with them. But just like that, and our poppy playtime maze is completed. And now that the timer's up, let's go see whose maze is better. Alright, G, so whose maze are we checking out first? Good question, Bubbles. If you press this button, it's gonna choose a random person. Alright, well, let's see if this is Bubbles or GE. And it looks like it says GE. Let's go. Let me go over to your side and check out your maze. Prepare to be amazed, Bubbles. Amazed? Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there, but GE, this looks pretty cool. And I assume this is the entrance, and for some reason, it's not even scary at all, GE. Yeah, of course it's not, Bubbles. Why would I make a maze scary? Uh, because that might have been the whole entire point. But whatever, I'm just gonna go through your maze. Is there any objective here other than finding the exit? Yup, I had two chests around this entire maze, and before you can get out, you have to collect both of them. Two chests? Alright, well, let me just look around and wait a second, GE. These leaves are literally see-through. I see one of the chests already. Uh, uh, no, you don't, Bubbles. I don't know what you're talking about. Haha, <laughs> let me just go right over to it and look at that. I found- Ooh, look, it's catnap. Yeah, good job, Bubbles. You actually found it. And inside, there's a bunch of super cool crystals. Yep, I got them right over here. But I still have one more chest left to find, so let me just go around and look for it. Good luck, Bubbles. I made it super hard to find. Eh, I think I'm gonna find it super easily, GE. And still, GE, this maze is definitely not scary. It's like a little walk in the park right now. Yeah, that was like the whole point, Bubbles. Oh, well, it looks like there's a dead end over here, so it's not this way. And, uh, GE, are you serious right now? I literally see the chest through the leaves again. Really, dude? You're cheating i mean it's not cheating if you're the one that built it so let me just open up this chest and whoa it's a whole bunch of different minerals in the shape of huggy wuggy yeah and there's a bunch of diamonds your favorite oh yeah well good job bubbles you actually found it so now you just have to find the exit sounds good ge this is super duper easy i know your maze wouldn't be super difficult but i didn't think that it would be this easy yeah whatever you say bubbles you might be in for a surprise ain't no surprises here just a nice walk in the forest la 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 La, la, la. Uh, uh, wait, what the heck, GE? Why am I in the void? <laughs> What the heck was that for, GE? I literally just died. I wouldn't make it that easy, Bubbles. And now you're gonna have to go through the entire thing all over again. Oh my god. Well, I do remember my way. And I remember the hole was right over here. So I just gotta make a jump over it. All right, can you do it? Come on, come on. And look at that, GE. I literally made it through. Easy peasy. And wait a second. Is this literally the exit? That was so easy. Yup, and now you have a whole bunch of diamonds. I'm feeling richer than ever. Well, since I got a whole bunch of diamonds, I'm gonna be raiding your entire maze in eight out of 10. In 8 out of 10? That's super good. I'm definitely gonna beat your maze, Bubbles. Mm, maybe 8 out of 10 is a little bit high, but we'll see if my maze is able to beat that. Alright, so let's check it out. Alright, GE, be ready to be amazed. And oh my god. This build looks super cool, but Bubbles, you better have not made it scary. I mean, the outside doesn't look really scary, but the inside is super duper creepy. The inside is super scary? Well, let me take a look at it. And what the heck? Is that boxy boot? And why is he looking straight at me? Because I don't know if you forgot, but this is a Poppy Playtime maze. Yeah, it is, but you didn't actually have to get Boxy Boo in there. Well, I had to, to make sure that you get super duper scared. Yeah, uh-uh, Bubbles, I am not going inside of that maze. What the? What do you mean you're not going inside? It's way too scary, Bubbles. This this is too much. What the, where are you running? Well, now that G is trying to run away, I'm gonna run my slash slash scare command. So let me just type in slash slash scare. And wait a second, where the heck am I right now? No way, my slash slash scare command just teleported G right into my maze. Oh no, is that actually Boxy Boo? Gulp. Yep, G, now that you're inside, there's no way back out unless you finish it. So good luck. Oh no, Bubbles, this is straight out of a nightmare. Don't be scared, G, don't be scared. The Boxy Boos are gonna eat you if you get too close, so you better make it through quick. Okay, good thing that one didn't see me. Me. Let me just keep making it through. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, Boxy Boo. Don't look at me. And I finally made it out. Let's go. And are you serious right now, Bubbles? Why in the world is there another level? Because, GE, there's actually three levels. One for Boxy Boo, one for Huggy Wuggy, and one for Mommy Long Legs. Mommy Long Legs? Oh, nah. That sounds super scary. But looking at the color blue, you definitely put some traps inside of here. Yep, I did. So good luck getting through it, GE. And oh my nah. Is that Huggy Wuggy? Okay, I can't make the same mistake and keep looking at that. 
them. And okay, he's kind of looking at me funny. Oh my goodness, Jay, you look super scared walking through all of this maze. Yeah, because I am really scared. I mean, I'm just kidding. I don't get scared, Bubbles. That's a lie. I do get scared. Ah! Come on, surely I'm near the exit somewhere. Come on, come on, come on. And wait a second, is this it? Yep, G, it looks like you found the prize. Ooh, that's a relief, Bubbles. So let me just open this up real quick and... Really, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you just fell for my trap. Really, Bubbles? That was not funny. And now all of these huggy wuggies are gonna keep staring at me. You better make it through quick. Come on. Surely there's an exit. And okay, what are they doing over here? They're getting ready to scare you, GE. Okay, I think this is the exit. And uh, huggy wuggy, why are you here? Oh, uh, I guess he just left. Okay, let me go through right over here. And GE looks like you made it to the final section of the maze. The mommy long legs section. Mommy long legs? Oh my nar. This is actually super duper scary. Yeah, if you turn the wrong corner, you're gonna run into even more mommy long legs. All right, Bubbles, I'm just gonna say this right now. If there's not a bus and prize at the end of this maze, you are not getting a good rating. Well, you'll just have to see if there is, and holy moly, GE, you're literally walking through so many. Oh no, not another dead end. Oh my god, I'm super duper scared. And whoo, there's some water over here. I'm starving. Starving? Uh, GE, don't you mean that you're thirsty? Yeah, 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 it's basically the same thing, Bubbles, but hmm, I definitely need some water right now. Go, 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 go. Oh, 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 I'm drowning. I'm drowning. No way. You just fell from my poisonous water. Poisonous water? Are you serious, Bubbles? This is way too scary for me to handle. Yep, I knew that you were going to be thirsty and stop by for it. Hmm. Well, the exit has to be somewhere around here, so if I just run really fast, then maybe I can just book it. Well, you better do it quick, because there's a mommy long leg right on top of you. Oh, there is. Go, go, go. Ah! And wait a second. Is this it? Wow. Good job, G. I didn't think that you were actually actually gonna make it through. And since you were able to survive all those super scary mazes, you can open up this chest to collect your prize. All right, I'm gonna open it up and this is gonna decide what score you get, Bubbles. Let me see. And whoa, there's a whole bunch of emeralds. Yep, and they're all for you. Let's go. I feel like Mr. Beast. But I do have to say, Bubbles, even though this entire maze was super duper scary, I'm gonna give your maze an 8 out of 10. Whoa, an 8 out of 10? Wait a second, GE. But didn't I give you an 8 out of 10 as well? Oh, shoot. I didn't think about that that bubbles then wait a second who wins hmm i guess we'll just have to let the comments decide everyone comment ge no everyone comment bubbles and if you enjoyed this video then make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and if you want to see another adventure from ge and i then click the video on screen go click it click it bye bye are you serious right now